Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be looking at Titus chapter 3. Saved in order to do good. Remind the people to be subject to the ruler and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do what is good, to slander no one, to be peace, peaceful and considerate, and always be gentle toward everyone. At one time we were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, but hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteousness or righteous things we have done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, who he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying, and I want you to stress these things so that you have the those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone, but avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law, because these are unprofitable and useless. Warn and devise, or warn a divisive person once, and they will them a second time. After that, have nothing to do with them. You may be sure that peop such people are warped and sinful. They are self-condemned. So this is showing that um, before we were saved, we were full of um, evil and bad intentions. Um, we had nothing to anchor us to even think about doing good deeds, or at least uh, doing good deeds was something that is not natural. However, God saved us so that we could do good deeds and be washed clean and be a representative for Christ on earth. Uh, because at the point of salvation, the Holy Spirit is within you and allows you to be clean and you have the freedom from sin to choose to love and show compassion to other people instead of doing uh, what people normally do and show hatred to each other. Now, not everybody does show hatred to each other, but you have the freedom now to choose to be like Christ and show love and peace to your neighbors. Final remarks. As soon as I send... Artemis or Tychius, to do to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis because I have decided to winter there. Do everything you can to help Zenus, the lawyer, and Apollos on their way and see that they have everything they need. Our people must learn to devote themselves to do what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. Everyone with me sends you greetings. Greet those who love us in faith. Grace be with you all. Um, so this is a message from Paul um, to let people know a final greeting to them. And that they basically are showing well which, uh, wishes and telling them uh, to do good things. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will uh, continue on Titus chapter 2 next.